Hello and welcome to News and Notes. My name's William and this is the lady that runs the ship, Anita. Uh, and we are here to uh, tell you about all the exciting things happening at Littleton Street United Methodist Church. Um, first off, if you haven't heard, uh, it's a time to build. We have kicked off our capital campaign for the building project and our next info meeting is Thursday, October 20th at 6 p.m. in the Friendly Inquirer's classroom. That's we, tomorrow night. That is tomorrow, tomorrow night. Yes. Today is Wednesday. Uh, and tomorrow is Thursday. And I look forward to seeing you there. If you have any questions, if you have any joys, praises, uh, even concerns, come talk to us. We would love to talk to you about the building project. Also, tonight, Wednesday, October 19th at 6 p.m., uh, I will be having a crucial conversation, hopefully not with myself, uh, about money. In God we trust. Uh, so come come talk to me. Uh, let's talk about money. Lastly, for me, not for us, uh, our Holy Land trip people are planning a show and tell, a share meeting with our congregation on Thursday, November 10th at 6 p.m. So if you would like to come hear stories uh, that we have to share about Anita on a camel uh, in the Holy Land, come on. November 10th at 6 p.m. Anita, where will we be? We will be in the friendship. Not, no, wrong. Fellowship Hall because we need the big TVs. That's right. We'll be in the Fellowship Hall November 10th at 6 p.m. Come and see us. Lots of pictures. Yeah. Other than me on a camel. I did learn how to hold on really hard, though. Yeah, you did. It was good. And she loves anything with chickpeas. So if you got some hummus, <laughs> send it her way. And we have Rise Against Hunger coming up. Yeah. We have reached our goal of $12,000. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. And our volunteer base is at 140 people. We need a few more. So feel free to come at 4 o'clock to help with the unloading. And at 6 o'clock, we're going to start with the meal packing. So we're super excited. It's a fun event. We're going to have it in the gym. People are going to be having a good time dancing to the music. It's a big party. So we hope that you all are all coming and attend. That's the 26th of October. So we're looking forward to that. And a lot of people really enjoy this event because yeah. the kids get involved, the youth get involved, yeah. the adults and the old people. It's something for everybody to yeah. do. David, David Weaver was telling me about it when I first got here, about how it's an entire church event, from the oldest to the youngest. Yeah, um, and there's a lot of people, a lot of fun, a lot of loud music, a lot of dancing around. Yeah. It's fun. We have a good time with it. And then on October 30th, we have our fifth Sunday, 10 o'clock service, only one service that day, in the gym, and it's going to be a packed day. The children are ringing and singing, or ringing a thing, as Gary likes yeah. to call it. We're going to have new members joining. We're going to have a ministry fair around the perimeter of the gym so you can see all the different ministries that the church is doing and see where you can join in, serve, volunteer, whatever you want to do, whatever you're looking for. Someone will have something for you that will suit your needs and allow you to serve in a particular fashion as well. Yeah. And we're also going to have a potluck meal after that service. Yeah. The chicken's gonna be provided by the church, paper products and drinks. Bring your favorite side item to share. Or dessert. No. Or dessert. Yeah. Yes. Always desserts. Yeah. Never forget the desserts. Coke Goodwin eats his dessert first, so. Yeah. Um, Mary Lee Hutto used to do that too. Yeah. She said she always ate her dessert first in case something happened. She You never want to get cheated out of your dessert. Yeah, unless it's chickpeas. You know? Yeah. So we're looking forward to all that and we're gonna have a great time. And I think that's... Oh, trunk or treat. And trunk or treat, 6 p.m., same day, October 30th. 6 o'clock in the parking lot. We're going to have trunk or treat cars all around the parking lot. Bring your kids. We're going to have, I think, bouncy houses, yeah. too. It's going to be lots of fun. Community event. And Mary's doing the chili cook-off event. Right. Bring your favorite chili to enter into the contest, and whoever wins gets a beautiful little trophy that's about yay big. Cute Are thing. you making a chili? Eh, I hadn't decided yet. Yeah. Chris was thinking about making one with pumpkin in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know about 
about that. Not, not real. Mine's just normal, old-fashioned chili with a little bit of jalapenos in it. You know, you know what kind of chili I like? What kind? Chili out of the can. Ooh, that's good chili right there. What's wrong with you? You ain't tasting that real stuff. That's why you like the chili out of the can. Yeah. Yeah. No. Anything else? I think that is it. As usual, we're always busy here around the church. Come join us, find us, say hey, we love you, and all that good stuff. Yeah. If we don't see you before, see you Sunday. Bye, guys. <laughs>